Welcome to Yep Yeah Yes with Marissa and Tamika. Today we are talking triggered. Not as in DTJR. Decipher that if you must. But just triggered the word and what it means in our life and whether or not we've experienced it. But first, in the words of Julie Chen Moonves, host of Big Brother, former host of The Talk, former anchor from CBS News, current celebrity Big Brother host, Julie Chen, did I say that already? Yeah, Julie, Julie Chen, Chen Moonves. Moonves. Marissa, how are you? <laughs> Fantastic. How are you? I'm good. What's going on? Not tired, living my life. Like it's golden? In the words of Jill Scott. <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted to be a newscaster. When I was a kid in elementary school, we had to, it was one of our projects, we had to do a news broadcast. Oh! So I was, I was tasked with doing celebrity news. Isn't that funny? Huh. Funny. So, during that thing, you know, they film. I would like to see how it came out. You know, I wonder if the school or anybody, the teacher, has like videos right. of the students doing it. You know, you, back then they didn't give it to you. They just recorded yeah. it and kept it. Moving. They probably recorded over it. But yeah. Um. So I reported on the death of Lucille Ball. That's how oh. old I am. <laughs> so wow. Yeah. I. You know. And I. I was like. Like I love Lucy. Yeah. Like, who doesn't? Yeah. Anybody, if you ever come to me and you're like, yeah, I don't really like that show, and you've seen it, not just like, you know how people just be like, they don't like something and they never tried it? Oh, all the time. That's you. All the time. But, like, for real, we can't be friends. If you haven't at least watched it, or yeah. just like, if you don't, what if you've watched it and you just don't like it? We can't be friends. <laughs> like, how do you not like Lucy? I love Lucy. Like, every episode is good. What about the honeymooners? Do you like them? No. Really? So we can't be friends. If you feel like we can't be friends because I don't like the honeymooners, we probably shouldn't be friends. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. I'm no, not. No, no, I'm not saying you. Began this tire tribe, but um, I'm I'm quite taken back. I think the honeymooners is really funny too. Yeah, I didn't like it. Hmm. I didn't like Larry Co. Clo- Larry Co. What's his name? Larry Moe and Curly. What was the name of the show? The three guys, the three, three stooges. stooges. Oh no, that one I didn't. Yeah, I don't wasn't like. wasn't a fan of that one either. No, that one. Abbott and Costello, no. But see, now we're like now Abbott we're going back. Be- the Marx Brothers. That's way that's way before. The you Marx know, they Brothers. Don't even, they don't even like. It, obviously, you can see stuff on YouTube, but with Lucy, you don't have to YouTube it. It's like on TV still. Yeah. You know, it's like the Flintstones. But what about Groucho Marx? I need to know. No, I'm, I'm, I have no one way or the other. I think it's innovative for that time. <laughs> but anyway, so triggered. Triggered. Um, You're triggered if you the, don't love Lucy. I'm not triggered because apparently, according to the Urban Dictionary, which is a thing now, in the, back in the day, it was like, you know, mm-hmm. It wasn't a thing, but now there's like a website. There's a full-on thing. Yeah, UrbanDictionary.com. And they define it as getting filled with hate after seeing, hearing, or experiencing something you can't stand. Oof! That is a very good definition. That's the Urban Dictionary for you. Oof! Of course, of course, um, the, what do you call it, the, the regular dictionary? Right. (laughs) Experiencing a strong emotional reaction of fear, shock, anger, or worry. Or worry. Um, hmm. So, uh, for me... Which I, definition do you like best? I like the urban one. Yeah. Because there have been moments where something has has taken over my body. Oof. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm... Like... So, okay. Here's an example. So, my ex... He triggered me every day because uh, he had a beard. You hate a beard. Like I get tri- I, I I met him with a beard. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not like he grew it out. Terrible. But it wasn't. But it wasn't like a full on. It was like a low cut, small. Yeah. Then he started to like grow that shit like he's Santa. Yeah. You know, I just so then I started like, you know, during arguments I bring up his beard. Ooh. Because most arguments have nothing to do with what you're arguing yeah. about. Instead of saying, you know, your beard triggers me because it reminds me of someone else 
Mm -hmm. who did me wrong Mm -hmm. and I I end up being filled with vitriol and hate Mm -hmm. and I'd hate to have that towards you so could you shave it (laughs) that is a very clear explanation right that sounds like um you've given it quite some thought and it deserves that's what a normal person like yeah that's what a normal person after self-reflection comes up with and then he remember I hate your fucking beard it's nasty you got food on it (laughs) <laughs> and the response elicited for that is, I'm going to grow it even longer. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah. how do you, how does the person receiving that vitriolic behavior, mm-hmm. how does that person understand and grow if you don't come to them right. with, you know, clear, Yeah, concise, a proper, yeah. yeah. They don't. Right. They don't. So, it's just you're, you're barking in order. People right. don't. People don't respond to it. No. Well, some, most people don't. There are some people that like to be yelled at. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There, there are people that, like, they feel, I don't know if they like it or they're just accustomed to it. They're okay with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But what about you? Do I get triggered by things? Yeah. All the effing time. Like what? You know, I, it, the only, okay, I'm going to start with something very trivial because it really does bother me. I don't like the way people eat Twix. Twix? Yeah, like if you don't break it off and eat one by one. Marissa, I can't stand you right now. I just said I was starting with something trivial. Oh, I missed that part. Uh, well, listen, I'm then. doing research. <laughs> but when people don't break it off and eat the one by one, it drives me nuts. You know what? I'm with you. Like, really? Mm-hmm. I feel the same way about a Kit Kat. They're supposed to be individual. Oh, you, my you God. I'm sorry. I just, I just had a face. moment. Did you see my whole I was like, oh, Jesus. You want to spit in a mofo's face. Like, really? You're you doing it You wrong. unwrapped the entire Kit you Kat don't? and you bit into it? You don't. Des- you now don't deserve it. We can't be friends. Like, for real? You know. You I'm know, with you. Yeah. High five. <laughs> this is why we're friends. You know, you know the, the Hawaiians king bread? Yes. You know how when you open the package, it has, like, a certain way that you have to take that little fold of paper and you take one by one? Yes. When somebody takes not in an orderly fashion. Oh, my God. And, like, if they take from the middle. Oh, my God. Yeah. So yo, for real? Mofos ain't right. Like, what, where did you grow up? I have no idea. Like, who raises these people? I don't know. I don't, I don't understand. Like, I'm really, right now, I'm feeling some kind of way about that Kit Kat. Because it's Halloween season, yeah, you know, Halloween yeah. has passed, candy is still out and there. And you're seeing the way people eat the candy. Or, 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 when mofos, is, uh, like, especially kids, because kids, kids be triggering me left and right, between their runny noses, <laughs> they're dirty. Yeah. When they have all this chocolate on their fingers... Oh, stop, because stop. the kick because Kit Kats are good for melting. They're melting. Yeah, they're they melt like, really eat fast. That, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is why you don't take the whole thing out at once. No, that's but, why. But so but the two bites takes a four packer of a four slices. Holds slice the of, whole thing. Holds the what whole thing with the chunky oh my chocolate, stop. chocolatey hands, and then my body feels. And me. then you 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 say something like really you that you just make it come like really. And then they smile at you, and they got a big chunk of chocolate in their oh, tooth. Oh, like half saliva, half food, all floating around. You Neanderthal! Who's raising you? <laughs> Clearly someone who ain't taught you how to eat it. <laughs> you know what else? Like, I, people have a different way of expressing, like, do you need to go to the bathroom? I don't mind the word bathroom. I sometimes don't mind the word potty. But you know how when somebody says, do you need to go pee-pee? Well, how do people do that? I don't know. That triggers me, too. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you know what? I'm feeling some kind of way right now. <laughs> you, know, me old, you know how old women who who are, um, they always look the same way. I'm going to describe this. All right. Short, dark hair. Mm-hmm. Um, um, a thicker waist than hips. So it's mm-hmm. a certain t- t- style of body. Mm-hmm. And you know when they have the crossbody bags, but the crossbody bag is not almost by the hip. It's like above almost to like what would be the natural <laughs> waist. Right. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it, the, the, sh- the strap isn't high enough. Yeah. So when, when the, the bag sits too high up, that bothers me. Why don't they loosen it? I don't know. Maybe they think they're going to lose it. Maybe. Or when people have too many keys. 
on their key ring yeah, but what and is all that? the stuff you, that you like gotta hangs. be so important you that important yeah like and all the stuff that hangs from it so now that we've seen some of those things that trigger us what do you think is the the basis for it? what do you think it goes back to because obviously being triggered is triggering you to a moment in time of your past Mm. You know, it's triggering an all emotion that came bon- upon all my f- for something all else. of my food based triggers come from I was always when I was younger a very, very slow eater and I had a methodical way of eating. Um and it was always a point <coughs> of contention for other people and them bombarding me with their issues. Like I used to like to peel my grapes, eat the skin and then eat the grape, but like in half and half and half. It's and triggering half. me. <laughs> <laughs> and then like my M&M's a certain way I would eat the shell first and then eat the chocolate everything had a method in your mouth kind of like playing around with yeah them. no I would like I would squeeze the M&M first peel it off eat all that and then put the chocolate in my mouth but and you eat wouldn't the peel it with your fingers would you or you peel it with your with your teeth no I'd bite into it first or I could squeeze it that it cracked and right. then I'd take off the shell but would you take the shell off with your teeth or with your fingers finger so, but it all depended on how it broke because it, when it cracked a certain way, then it was a certain method. But everything had a method, and it would annoy everyone around me because they'd be like, "Just eat it," or like, "You take too long. You got seven grapes, and you'd be quiet for like two hours," which is the story everybody likes to tell people that like they meet in my family, like friends that meet. Oh my God, I used to give Marissa seven grapes, and she'd be quiet for like two hours. And like, yeah, you fatso. Like, yeah, because I had a method of eating. It was such a... So how did that... How does other trigger... Like, what triggers you to come back to that moment? When, when other people don't have a method of eating a certain way. Like, just the pure, pure anarchy. Like, you really don't eat a Kit Kat like that? Like, really? I see what you're saying. I was trying to get, <sighs> understand where, what was... I think it might be the so OCD part. So the Neanderthal part. Yeah. aspect of eating yeah. is annoying. Yeah. Uh, so and when my ex ate, ate eggs with a spoon, it was a... Oh my God! Please stop. And he used to eat mashed potatoes with a spoon, yeah, and then eat his meat that went with it with a fork. Like you're gonna use every utensil? <laughs> really? You gotta use all of them? Every piece of cutlery in the house you gonna have to use for this one plate? Okay. That I remember. He really did. <laughs> it's me off. I remember one day he was eating. I was like, "Really? You gonna eat that with a spoon?" He's like, "Yeah. How else are you supposed to eat it?" I'm like, "I don't know." And I'm like, "I gotta go." I'm so glad she don't like you. <laughs> oh my god could he, you imagine he really did eat everything every he used every like every piece of cutlery you could think of oh he would probably cut his broccoli if he could yeah if he ate broccoli yeah but i see what you're saying so when someone eats in an unconventional manner it triggers with, you with because no it, order but that's been I don't, unconventional. Because unconventional, just, yeah, I guess, yeah, no, you're unconventional, right. Unconventional, I mean, obviously. I just need a method. I need order. I need, like, so you know how when people open sliced bread? I like the ends. I don't know if I'm supposed to like the ends because I had a brother who always, like, make me eat the ends. Mm-hmm. But, like, I don't, I don't <coughs> mind if people go past the end. But if they go dig their hand straight through to the middle and then pull that all that out when you just opened it, like, slice yeah, bread. Yeah, that's annoying. That really, that really that's gets annoying. me. See, I I only like the end when I'm eating a hamburger. Mm, and that's you have only, to use sliced bread, yeah. Yeah. That's oh, the yeah, only yeah. time. Um, growing up, we didn't really get hamburger buns. Now we live in a lap of luxury, so, you know. <laughs> now you got hamburger buns. <laughs> get the King's Hawaiian. <laughs> <laughs> or the Martins. The Martins. When you oh, get the Martins, girl. it's like, oh, oh, oh it's they a party. They a little bit this week, huh? <laughs> Got a little extra money. Got that Martin's money. <laughs> <laughs> no bumbo here or bimbo. Oh, but, bimbo's good. No, I'm saying. Slice but, bread, yeah. But in terms of, you know, when you have to yeah. pick and choose uh-huh. or store brand, you know, times is rough when you're like, you know what? I'm just going to get the stop and shop. Yeah. Brand. Remember back in the day, the black and white? Pathmark. I was just thinking about that. It was, um, yeah, those were the days. But I, I, I kind of understand what you're saying, though, because it the end of the day it's like if you're accustomed to doing things a certain way and somebody does it completely opposite like um, nobody's asking you to to eat the same way you know but you know you hold the fork a different way it's like a little annoying and you know when you're when you're an adult you ever kid you you ever be around an adult who eats broccoli but only eats the tops and leaves the bottoms 
That is my aunt and uncle. One of them likes oh to, my God. one likes to, to floret, uh-huh. the other likes the stem. So my grandmother used to cut them in half and give one to one. And I wonder if she conditioned them to like it that way. Oh, like because she was broke and she yeah. saved money. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. I don't know, but don't she know. had two other kids <laughs> who ate the whole thing. <laughs> they were bigger. <laughs> they were older. They get the well, whole one, thing. The oldest and the youngest. Oh! The, the other two ate the, ate the two the, middle yeah. ones shared. Yeah, and they, the two middle ones don't really like veggies to this day. That's really yeah. interesting. Whereas my mother, who's the oldest of all of them, she loves veggies she she goes on her health kick yeah thing you know what i mean yeah you know it is what it is so yeah it's it's annoying though it's like um you know what else i don't like when people salt their food before they even taste it that's my dad but what it annoys the shit out of me you don't know if it needs salt first of all and then you salt and butter like really like (laughs) <laughs> you know, you know what annoys me though. When I, this is on the flip side of this. Okay. Like, okay, mashed potatoes, right? Uh huh. I like butter on my mashed potatoes. Whether you cook butter, you know when somebody's like, I yeah. put butter in there. Bitch, there's not butter on it. You want to see it melting. You want that little square that's melting. Yes. <laughs> I don't care that you cook butter. You put butter in it, but as you prepare mm-hmm. it. But I like a little slice of butter. Yeah. On top. You know what I like? I like dry salad. <laughs> I do like some dressings, but I happen to really like salad with no dressing. Right. And I hate when people say, uh, ew, you eat that all dry like that? Like, I don't think it's dry. I like salad. I like salad with, usually when I get salad, I have it with olive oil. No, I mean like nothing. I know, but yeah. I'm just saying, even, even yeah. like that's a step above. Yeah, nothing. yeah, it's that's, yes. Some olive oil. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, I used to love French's. Then it just became too rich. You yeah. Know? Your taste buds change as you get older. Yeah. You know, you start to try try different things. Your palate your changes. Palate. But your palate done expanded. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> um. But yeah, it's like it's like one of those things though. I think at like what you said, it always comes down to like how you were raised and things things that you went through as a child. I got another one. You know when you go to somebody's house and their dog is charging and barking at you and you take a step back and people are like, oh, her? She's such a mush. Then why the fuck is she charging me and barking in my face? Right. Oh, her? Like, I've been bit by dogs. Like, right. your dog is charging me and barking. I'm just people, supposed to be like, oh, I, I, what I'm, I love. I'm one of those people that for years I was insensitive to other people not recognizing the quote-unquote mush of my dog. But you changed me when my dog bit you. <laughs> More than once. <laughs> no, one, one time. No, she bit me. I she bit remember, me twice. I only remember the one time. And I compensated you for that. Let's not forget. You were there when she bit my arm. No, I thought it was your jeans. Yeah, she bit my leg. Yep, and ripped the jeans, gave me a big bruise on my thigh. I don't and remember the, the big bruise. You really love those was, No, there was a bruise on my thigh. Okay. Then there was um the time that she bit my arm. I don't remember that. Oh my god, we were going into your house and you had her on the leash I and don't she remember. grabbed I she don't, bit my arm. Sorry, I don't remember that. Oh, okay. But You yeah. want another you want a shirt? <laughs> no, I don't want a shirt. I don't remember. That damn dog bit a little bit. The same too. dog barricaded my mother in the bathroom. Oh my gosh. My mom was banging and on And you're like, She's a mush. Yeah. Well she's mm. mush to me. But mm. the, that's when the one you realize, like, okay, she really she acting out of pocket with, with you know, people I care about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Got my mother in the bathroom for hours. Oh, my banging, God. Banging, trying to get out. And where were you? Sleep. It was in the middle of the night. My mom oh got up to go to the bathroom. And she was growling at her? Yeah, she wouldn't let her come out the bathroom. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, there you go. And what did you say when... I finally heard it. Like, I guess I turned over to the other side. Right. Like, I don't see what my hearing aids in. Mm-hmm. So, I can't hear shit, really. Right. Um. And so, I guess I heard, and then I got up, and I went... And my mom's like, you hear me? You know, I, I don't re- I don't really recall the entire story. Yeah. We we'll have to have her on the show <laughs> to clean it up. Because <laughs> I know she's going to she gonna listen to this and be like, well, what happened was. <laughs> but I only remember certain things. Like, I don't have the greatest memory. I remember what I want to remember. Mm-hmm. I think that's like everybody in life. Mm-hmm. You only remember what you want to remember. Yeah. But, I mean, think about everything that, like, I'm not Valerie Harper, okay? Oh, and I, yeah, because me and my me and my sibling, we sometimes I'm like, what is your memory? That is not at all. But yeah. But I mean, we can only retain so much. Yeah. And you're gonna retain the things that matter the most to you. 
And this goes back to triggered. Mm -hmm. This is why it's easy to be triggered because there's the memories that we have. We obviously have chosen to remember them for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. And so when something in life happens that triggers that moment, it's like you just turn... What was the what was the the definition the urban dic- urban dictionary definition uh, filled with hate after seeing hearing or experiencing something you can't stand. Oh, that's a good definition. It's true though. Yeah. And and I think it's that <clears throat> that can can be like personal. It could just be it could be anything. You know, it could it could just be you okay, Pico? Pico about the he's get triggered. triggered. He's triggered. <laughs> he's triggered. <laughs> he's triggered. Like that damn I wonder if he, I wonder if he gets triggered from the time when when Maggie scared of me and he leaped out the window of my car was missing. Oh, he like is. does he hear a train the train whistle and be like ooh? Damn, I don't know. You know? Do are there are there moments on, or sounds like they they said seeing or hearing so um, seeing somebody eat candy a certain way or eat. Food a certain oh, way when I hear somebody when open like a chips bag or something, I'm like, oh my gosh, what? How are they opening it? And are they digging their hand in there? Is it a share bag or like a, a single bag? So I'm surprised, knowing how you feel about that, that you don't go out of your way to only buy single bags. Uh, it's just not economical. It's not. No. Why? It's just not like getting all those little single bags. It's just you don't. The price you pay for the big bag is So why not, not put the big bag, on, when you get it, organize smaller bags? Because you're wasting all that plastic. You're a pain in my ass. You're triggering me. Just put it in a bowl. So you don't care about being triggered. It's really not that. You just bought it up, but it's really not a but thing. But they're my kids. For some reason, I know they wash their hands, so I don't mind them. But it's well, other I saw, people. I saw some dirty hands. Oh, get out of here. Um... You Every know, parent thinks their kids are perfect. Yeah, and they are. What is that? But they are. Mine are. So, you know what else? When I see, um, like when we saw the movie Us, and Homegirl was about to get lost on a beach. Like whenever there's like movies or something like that where somebody's going to get lost on a beach, I get triggered. Because you're, you're lost in, on a beach moment. Absconded. You were not absconded. Was kidnapped. That's what, nobody <laughs> took you. I was kidnapped. Okay. Nobody ever knows. What is it? What does that say? You will never know. You will never see. Uh, it was a movie, a horror movie, where a little girl said something. Anyway. I'll never tell. Yeah, I'll never tell. Yeah. What was that? Um, with um, I think it was I'll never tell with uh Brittany Murphy. Oh, okay. Anyway, God bless the dead, Brittany Murphy. Uh, so, so what about experiences? Has there has there been a moment in your life where you've been doing something and all of a sudden, in that moment, you're triggered? Not by the not by seeing something or hearing something, but by experiencing it. Like you're going through it and you're like, oh shit. I'm sure there is, but for some reason, right now, I'm panicking, and like I'm like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I wonder, like, I, I think about myself. Um, I'm one of those weird people who thinks she can do anything mm-hmm. until I'm in those moments. <laughs> and I'm you're like, like oh, okay, hold on. No, wait a second. Um, maybe not. I'm not that strong. I'm not eight. <laughs> I'm not eight. <laughs> like, last night I went to vote, right? Okay. And so the voting station is in my elementary, my old elementary school. Right. So every, and it's in the gymnasium. Mm -hmm. So every time I go in there. Right. I think about gym. Uh And. When you have the pull-ups competition. The pull-ups competition, (laughs) basketball, all of that. And I look at the pull-ups bar and I'm like. I won that. It's like, really, Tamika? You were eight. Okay. Back in 78. No. And I probably weighed 50 pounds. Yeah. You know, so it's like, really, you know. But, but it's like hell. You but, won that pull ups competition. I, I won that, and but it was a, It wasn't even so much that I won. It was like what people thought I couldn't do. My whole life, My people always told me what I couldn't do. Yeah. You know, I think everybody goes through those moments. What, yeah. What you're not capable of. Mm-hmm. You know, you're not capable of graduating school. You're not capable mm-hmm. of having kids. You're not capable. Oh, of, oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Some some shit is true. 
Some shit is not. That's terrible. Oh my gosh. Oh lord. You know what? You know what? I'm just playing with my hair, and I think it was like two years ago, maybe three years ago. I don't remember. Somebody had really, really long hair somewhere, and I was like, "That is disgusting." And I had equally long hair, and I, the next day I cut it. And I'm like, ugh. They're like, why'd you cut them? Like, this bitch had long hair and it was disgusting. It fell in food. It flew everywhere. And they're looking at me like, bitch, you have long hair. Like, I had, like, obnoxiously long hair. And I was like, and that's why I cut it. Your hair is extremely long now. Yeah, but wasn't it longer at one point? I don't remember it being longer than this. Oh, yeah. Maybe I like it's long before hair. I knew you. Maybe. You've known me. No, you've only I know. Known, you knew me like real short hair. When I first met you, it yeah. wasn't real short, but it was short. Yeah. You could put it in a ponytail. I could put it in a bun. No, you couldn't put it in a bun. No. You could put it in a ponytail. No, you know that meme? No, I don't know. Oh. Sorry. And I could put Not it aware. in a bun. Oh. No. Not aware. Uh, Sorry. Did moving I on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm triggered. <laughs> um, I, oh, think, I think sometimes, though... Um, a lot of the um, my emotional triggers mm-hmm. come with friends and family. When I think about, mm-hmm. um, it, it's weird because uh, your school years oh. and the trajectory of your life is such a small period of time. It is, yeah. You know, your yeah. elementary, middle, and high school. It's so small. Yeah. And but when you're going through it, it just feels like enormous. Damn. And so. It's weird because it has such a huge impact on your life no matter what age you are. Like, I yeah. talk to my mom all the time. She's always talking about high school. Yeah. And I, and I'll be like, how old were you? She's saying middle school. I'm like, really? <laughs> like 12? <laughs> it's like 50 years ago. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? But it still has an impact on your life. Yeah. And I feel the same way. Um, I don't I don't have as much of a connection to the people, my friends and stuff from that era. Mm-hmm. But I do have a connection to that that life um that that the period of time that i'm going through you know mm-hmm. not necessarily the the actual people but the experiences that i that i had during that time mm-hmm. and so there are moments today where i get triggered it, it could be something so small yeah you know what i mean you just and is is like obviously a trigger is has a negative connotation yeah. You know what I mean? What yeah. What do you think would be the opposite of that? Oh, I got one. I got one. You ever hear somebody that's so jovial in your <coughs> life that they bring you joy, right? So the way, like, even, like, they wear, like, the same shoes, so, like, the tack of their shoes or maybe, like, the quick little, ha, huh? like, the way they, like, begin a sentence and you're, like, that sound, like, you know, everybody makes a sound. Mm-hmm. So whatever that beginning sound of that person before you've seen them, you're, like, oh, I'm happy. That's how I feel when I when I see you. Really? Oh shit! Oh. <laughs> I'm not crying. <laughs> I'm not crying. I'm not crying. <laughs> like we see each other once a week or whatever we do the show. But like I have a my week is always very long and tired. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I just yeah. I'm just always tired, and so it's it's the one time during the week, and not like I'm. It's very hard for me to express joy. You know what I mean? <laughs> it is. It's just I just don't know how to be like upbeat and happy. I it's not to say that I've never been that way uh-huh. and exhibited that, but overall I'm just not that like happy go lucky person. Yeah. But I can feel it inside. I can yeah. feel joy. Yeah. And so when you like when you're like, Hey girl, uh-huh. it feels good. Yeah, hey. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, hey, yeah. hey, how's it going? I don't know how to be like I don't know how to reciprocate that. <laughs> you're like, hi. I don't, I don't know how to be like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's wrong. <laughs> yeah, exactly. what's happening? Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So if I, if I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm okay. That means yeah. I'm pretty good. Yeah, you know? I'm fantastic. Right. Yeah. If I'm like, oh my god, I want to die, then you know, I, I'm really. Yeah. If I yeah, say that, pain. that I'm, I'm yeah. like, I, I want to. You in danger, girl. Like, yes. <laughs> So I have those two, you know, yeah. switches. So yes, when I'm around you and I and I hear the the whole, a greeting uh-huh. or I know I'm about to get the greeting uh-huh. on my way walking to your house or whatever or I'm about to see you uh-huh. we go out to eat whatever the case may uh-huh. be. Just knowing that you're always gonna come at me with good energy. Oh shit! Even when you're feeling down, 
uh-huh. you're never gonna be like Ugh. oh my god it'll yeah. come it'll transform yeah. into yeah. like uh, life sucks <laughs> in the midst of our conversation yeah. but the initial uh, greeting <laughs> is always pure joy yeah oh homie you know what i'm saying my eyes are all glassy hey mm-hmm. i think it's the glasses <laughs> oh <clears throat> you know what else i was thinking um there's certain kids it's like babies the way they laugh right some of them some of them cackle but i cackle but some kids oh, if your eyes are closed and you know puppy breath you can smell puppy breath and you're like oh my god yeah i know he's a fluffer or she's a fluffer i'm oh i'm gonna pet the shit out of that little dog <sighs> right yeah. Right? See, look at your face yeah. is jovial. But not, not kittens. Ew, no. I'm not a cat person, <clears throat> so, no. Even though they're cute from afar, a kitten yeah, is like, oh, it's cute. cute. Yeah. Like, but I'm not, you no, know. No, thank you. No, I'm, I'm good. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm good. I, I, I don't know. You know, so anyway, let me move on. <sighs> Let's go to our trending. To? Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, that's trending. trending. So today, I want to talk about what <laughs> apparently is a new it seems like every day is a new day so today is apparently national stress awareness day okay i didn't know we needed a day for this because <laughs> bitch i'm stressed every, every day i'm okay so um you know what's so f- um funny to me you know how we have a national everything day right do we have like okay so it's national stress awareness day i get that but do you ever have a person like i it i'm getting tongue-tied at the thought of like you know like we function with stress there's stressors in our life that we have to like we need certain amount of something Mm -hmm. to to function in our day what if we didn't have that that sounds like a nightmare if we didn't have stress like certain amount of stress there's a certain amount of stress that you need to have I would love... I think it's possible. I think about people that live on the beach. Oh, yeah. What stress do they got? Well, the high tide, strong winds, <laughs> hurricane season. Some, some like, I'm the most jovial like, person. Yeah. And you're like, find the opposite. I'm like, oh, let me give you a list. Oh, my gosh. I know. So, anyway, National Stress Awareness Day is... Apparently, it's the first Wednesday in November... Of each year. This is the first. Funny how it's close to uh, Thanksgiving. Oh, you know when what? When you're supposed to be with your family. Yeah. That's because stressful. you. Oh, but. You ha- so. I know you've experienced this. Mm hmm. But now that you're speaking about Thanksgiving. Mm hmm. Um, I like Thanksgiving. Mm hmm. Um, this, this year I'm not going to be with my family. I'm going to be with my mom. We're going on a cruise. Mm hmm. But one thing that I. Like, I never. The, the most stress that I ever had with Thanksgiving was trying to make the rounds. Oh, You know yeah, what I mean? That yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. That was like the the main stress. But people always talk about, oh, it's Thanksgiving dinner. We're going to talk politics and stuff like that. But like, do you ever, do you ever have to experience that when you're in Thanksgiving, like dreading the, the table conversation? Um, like, is that something that stresses you out? When we used to do like with extended family what would stress me out is because it, for for some reason my weight has always been like a point of topic for other people <coughs> and i'm in a certain bracket kind of by myself in age where i have certain i have i have older cousins but they're older so they're one group of my group i have maybe three two other cousins i'm talking about my mom's side two other cousins And then everybody else is probably about five and then maybe more years younger. So it was either you're gaining weight, you're getting, and why aren't you getting married? Or you've gained weight, you're married, why don't you have a baby? Or you've gained weight, you're not married, you don't have a baby, and you still haven't finished school? Huh. Oh, and you got a new job again this year? Huh. So it was always something that things could you knew that uh, you were going to get. Yeah, it was always going to be one of those things. But then it got to a point where like, you know, I do, I do, I do my dirt all by my lonely, and you know, succeed in silence. Like, no, I'm done with school, so they can't ask me that no more. I don't like jobs, so I don't want to work, so I quit them, and they're not gonna ask me about that no more. Right. And then gaining weight as they're shoving their face, talking about they got diabetes. But okay. 
It's my side eye. So you won't be with them think this Thanksgiving? Probably not, no. As you've gotten older, do you feel more comfortable making your own plans or not being committed no. to being... Oh, you don't? Oh, hell no. I feel handcuffed and chained. To, to Still. celebrate Thanksgiving with certain people? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, I, I, I've I, never felt handcuffed, but I, I felt like, like this year, like I specifically wanted to go on a cruise for Thanksgiving because I didn't want to, I love my family mm-hmm. and I, you know, I see them every day and I'm around and whatever, but I just wanted something different. Yeah. You know, I didn't want to cook and be, you know, sit yeah. around. My family is very like, like laid back. Yeah. So it's not, you know, we all agree the same way politically except for one member of my family although he agrees the same way most majority mm-hmm. of the time um but you're his, also go mm-hmm. ahead no i was gonna say his he's easily swayed by his friends to think a certain way oh interesting but i was gonna say you're all very even keeled in the sense of like you each know that you're gonna contribute something you bring it to the table no pun intended but pun intended Thanksgiving table, haha. Huh? Um, so like it, it's it's a very jovial. You guys, you know, have great banter back and forth. But that's gonna be nice. A cruise on. Yeah, I just don't. I don't feel like cooking or doing it. Yeah. Not that I was cooking a lot, but I just don't yeah. want to be. I just want to go. Like me and my mom made reservations Thanksgiving night, mm-hmm. have dinner, and then that's that. We'll eat I dinner. Love it. We'll relax, watch some TV. You know, just really. Really just chill. Chill. You know, I'm nothing, I love it. nothing crazy. So that's the that's the plan for Thanksgiving Day and evening. Um, and then, like my whole thing, I you know what I think it is. The last the job that I just left was extremely stressful. Oh. And so yeah. I've been trying to do things or come up with ways to de-stress. Right. Right. And it's funny that today is National Stress Awareness Day. Right. Um, one thing that I spoke to my family about is. We're not gonna all exchange gifts this year. I told him I don't want to do that. So instead, we're gonna do um, not the Secret Santa, but we pick a name out the hat and we'll uh-huh. buy each person, whoever we name we pick, spend fifty dollars on that person, and we all. Oh, that's, that's a better it. gift that way. Oh, yeah. I like it. So I mean, obviously, if the totality of the gift should be fifty. So if right. you end up getting multiple gifts and they yeah. equal fifty, then fine. But you can't spend more than fifty dollars on that person. I like that. And so we're gonna do that. Um, and I, I just was like, I don't want to stress with the, the gifts. I, I just don't, I'm tired. Yeah. I'm tired, you know? Yeah. And, you know, I, I'm already going to be buying for your kids, buying for my niece and nephew. Mm -hmm. I just don't want, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. And then that's, that's five rug rats that are not going to buy me shit. (laughs) They ain't got no job yet. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Even when they have a job, are they really going to get me? No. It's just, whatever. It is. It's, why do we put ourselves through this? I don't know. Why? Uh, like, I don't, I, I'm so stupid. But anyway. But it's not about, it's not about receiving. Okay. <laughs> you sure? Uh, whatever. I'm just saying. Um. But you're looking to be stress-free. I'm trying to be stress-free. In conclusion. In conclusion. Um, what do you think stresses you out the most and how do you de-stress? Um, the best way to de-stress? Oh my god. Other than sniffing coke. Other than that, yeah. Um, she doesn't cool. sniff coke. We should, because well, we just leave it out there and then people cares? are like, no, we care. I don't. We care. So, um, one of the things is I really, I've, I've mentioned this before, I really like Korean shows on netflix okay so just having because i have to read the subtitles i can't be on the phone i can't be doing 20 things at once right i literally have to sit there and read and watch my show so i really like doing that i honestly i like going for walks yeah yeah and i've been dying to buy myself a bicycle so i can go on bike rides well tell your boo to get you a bike for christmas i wanted one for my birthday well you he threw you a birthday party yeah and what a joy it was yeah her How are you feeling? Sick. How are you feeling? Great. <laughs> okay. Um, so, I'm trying to think other things. I'm a big crafter. Okay. And crafting is a very, um, like, in introverted 
thing i think it's my personal opinion so you're as you're like weeding you know calibrating doing getting materials it's it's a moment to like you're you're very inner inner whether you're shutting down your thoughts or shutting down how you're interacting with other people it's a very introverted thing so i love crafting walking my korean dramas um and and cop shows korean shows on netflix are just incredible um things like that okay and i do like you know what i find it very decompressing with you when we just sit have a meal have a drink you know the dessert the coffee and literally i'm like bitch i'm about to talk some shit and you like, haven't done that in right. so long has it been you, always, you always say no that's not true i'm like okay whatever. i'm always like that's not true and i give you two examples you're like oh maybe not what that. what's the, okay give me two examples one well, talking me and you not like a group people all together when's the last time me and you went to dinner by ourselves it was definitely a few months ago but okay I'm just saying. No, you always make it seem like... I, I have never met anybody in my life that makes me feel guilty for wanting to hang out with someone. I don't make you feel guilty, really. I just told you how you make me feel. I apologize. I acknowledge. <laughs> I acknowledge. I'm here. I'm not asking you no more. Uh, no, don't do that. No, I'm just saying. I'm here I've never, and I I've never in my life met anybody. You're the only person I've ever met who makes me feel guilty for saying, I want to hang out with you. I want to no, go I apologize. grab a dinner with that, you. Was like, we just hung out. We just what? What are you talking about? We just no, no, that, fine. no, 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 no. That's a um. Uh, what, how do you word that? That's a um. Um. Would I trigger you? Yes, thank you. It's a trigger moment because I always feel like, because it's I'm very ho hum with the whole like I don't do nothing, I don't go nowhere, and then I was like, no, no, right? I I went out the other day, and you're like, bitch, it was like six months ago. I'm like, okay. It's it's me. That's a me thing, not a you. It's it's me. All right. Well, that I'm doesn't triggered. change how I feel. And I apologize and, and I acknowledge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Your Marissa. feelings are valid. They, no, they're not. Yes, they are. But it's are. okay. It's okay. <laughs> yes, they are. Uh, my other friends hang out. I went out to dinner with two of my friends. You bitch. You know I have month. FOMO. Huh? You know I have FOMO. Don't talk to me like that. I'm just... Well, bitch, nobody is stopping you but you. I know. If I was like, hey, I got tickets to um, whatever, you'd be like, okay, I'll get a, a sitter. You get a sitter in the quickness. Mm-hmm. If I say, hey, can you go to dinner this weekend? Uh, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Or if I say, hey, me and such and such are going to dinner. You want to come? Yeah, yep. I'll just sit in the quickness. Okay. Hey, do you want to go to dinner with me? I got to see so imagine it start to feel insecure Wait, on my, my own. So so I'm not asking no more. I'm, Don't I'm do that to me. I got me. other friends. Don't do me, that to me. Our our relationship is a podcast based relationship. It is not. Yes. It is not. It's, it is this not. Is, this is what it will it's okay. This is okay. It's a way to de stress our life. I get that, but don't put that out there. Like that's all we do, because we don't just sit and do a podcast. Well, okay. What did we do last week? I forget. <laughs> went to a soccer game and a football game <laughs> oh yeah that's right <laughs> i show up for your kids that's right <laughs> anyway well good show mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah i do i do I'm love stressed your, out and triggered but listen, whatever listen i i do oh, love, okay. i do love your kids and i will always be there for them as much as i humanly as humanly possible one of the ways that i had to de-stress had nothing to do with them but putting too much on my plate i can no longer go to their practices because oh, it's yeah, just too much yeah. for me i just can't oh so same I, here well you have to go no I, no i i feel like one of the things that was stressful i i understand what it is from those practices i just That's can't just i couldn't much. do it anymore. i tried yeah in the beginning i really tried but i was like i can't i can't do it yeah. i can't do everything yeah at once but i try to make sure i'm at every i've been at so right, so every we got, game we got wrestling coming up oh they're joining wrestling yeah i thought they were going to do boxing boxing they are bitch choose one six million ways to die choose, choose one. one anyway <laughs> all right y'all all right um have a stressless stress-free day wednesday on this triggered not dt junior day D-T-J Day J-R J-R Ah Junior 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 Figure it out Figure it out Uh, Anyway Marissa 
Um, uh, Instagram and Twitter. Uh, oh my God. I didn't even say, Marissa, where can I'm they find totally us? I'm totally panicking right now. I got it. They can uh, find us on Instagram, Twitter, via Yep yeah, Yes 18, Facebook, via the Yep yeah, Yes podcast. They can download us on YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, iHeart Radio Music. I don't know if it's iHeart Music or iHeart, but get the app. Um, Podbean. Uh, Why am I panicking? I'm what? sweating. My nose started to sweat, and so did my back. I have no idea. My mind went to a complete blank. Uh, I, that's that's a you thing. It is. Um, no, I'm not they, putting that they, on you. They, they, they can they can catch sweaty. us wherever you you get your your um your streaming. streaming platforms. Look for the Yep Yes podcast. Um, and download us, subscribe to us, listen to our show. And add um, us, boo. And shout out to my cousin James. We're gonna have him on the show. Yeah. Um, soon. We've gotta figure out a topic or whatever. Uh, and uh, also all the white people out there, uh, we like to have you on the show. Mm-hmm. To have a real talk about race relations. So I if want you're white, holler. <laughs> we already got an Asian. We need. Yeah. We need well, a. Well, that would be a nice round table. I really want to do this. Let's do this. Yeah. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. All right. So we we got. I'm a black. You're the Puerto mm-hmm. We got an Asian. Did you see the guy, um, th- that went that was ID'd, um, to buy from, cold? Yeah. Yeah. I did. I At did. CVS. Yeah. But it's 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 lack of education. It's it lack doesn't of so matter. Many. No 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 no. I'm not I'm not giving an excuse. I'm not giving anything. But. The fa- well, f- first of all, I never would have shown my passport. We we would have w- the argument would have escalated to the point that, that call the cops, call the cops, and yeah. I'm not leaving. Call yeah. the cops right now. I will not be buying it here, but just to make a point, call the cops. Right. I'm one. I'm one of those people that once I there's I am so even keeled. I am so even keeled. I really try my best not to bother, not to be a pest. But once it gets to a certain point. All right then, I'm all in. Now I'm all in. now. And now I got time. Yeah. Now I got time. Got time today. I got time today. Anyway, so if you want to, if you want to trigger me, we got time. I got time. So anyway, we have a black. We have a Puerto Rican. We got an Asian. We have an Asian. We have a. That's it. That's it. We need <laughs> no a we, Asian. No, we we know it's not that we don't know. Well, no, we like, know but, plenty of people, but, but, but we, just, we need. Like, I don't even know if our Asian friend is willing to talk about race relations on the podcast. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just knowing people, because we know white people, we know mm-hmm. black people. Not everybody's but that willing, are willing to, have, to truly speak. have an honest, open, yeah. honest conversation. So, you know, I'd like for us to get that underway yeah. by the end of the year. Yeah. Try to have that. Um, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. We hope that you all have a great But if you're week. a Caucasian that's willing to truly talk... <laughs> at me we hope you have a great week fantastic week stress-free don't get stress triggered free. don't get triggered um, um. <laughs> <laughs> all right marissa yes i love you i love you more and you're enough i am i love that <laughs> i love it all right y'all bye, bye.